Villari is a spirited attempt that soon loses steam. Says Sarat Ray the first half is funny and on point, but then it starts to drag and, quite oddly, turns into a sob story set in another time. There's potential for humor in any Indian wedding, and the grander it is and the longer it lasts, the funnier it is likely to get. The rituals no one understands. The relatives revealing their eccentricities, the obscene shows of wealth, the harried young couple being shunted around. Oddly, though, in Bollywood, the grand wedding is celebrated in earnest, a culmination of a love story, a chance to break into a Sanjeev number, rather than as a backdrop for humor or satire. Debut director Anz Hilal's Filori, seen simplistically, is two films in one. A satire, it's pretty on point. Unfortunately, there's a full-blown romance rolled in that goes from briefly interesting to really dull and much too long. 26-year-old canon, Sierra Chama, is not sure he's ready for marriage, but as is often the case, his parents are, especially since he has an eager childhood sweetheart waiting for him. He flounders through it, helped along by endless joints and Freudian dreams about drowning. Into this fray comes the ghost of Shashi, Anasika Sharma, after a tree is cut down. Perhaps it might have worked as a shorter film. Perhaps it needed a punchy ending. The idea shows so much promise that you want it to work. And yet, in the end, just like those long drawn out Indian weddings, you just can't wait for it to be over.